Should we start recording then? It's recording. Is it recording, is it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, welcome. I'm Nigel. Hello, I'm I'm Anders. Um, we're here. Um, welcome. To, you see, already, already napped up. Do we start again? Let's, let's start again. Yeah, go on. Hello, I'm Nigel. Hi, I'm Anders. Welcome to our extraordinary beer tasting. No, it's been channel. Beer channel. That's what it is. Yeah. Didn't write the channel bit down. I thought I'll work that out. Yeah, one set of lines to learn. Never mind, let's get into it. <laughs> <laughs> Three beers today. Oh, hang on. Sorry, phone went. Okay, done. Got JL. Got old thumper. Lovely. Right. Now, I believe we are supposed to start with the weakest. Yeah, right. That's what proper beer tasters do. But I don't like the look of that bottle, so I want that one first. <laughs> so I used to like Iron Maiden. I, I, I still have a, a, a real love and affection for them. Let's have a look and see what this is going to be like. Oh, straight away I got a whiff of the malt there. Oh, that's got a lovely colour to it. Already I can see that. That's beautiful. Oh, beautiful gold colour. Lovely malty smell. So I, I've had this once before. Uh, and that was in the Lake District. Mm -hmm. And I, I think it because what I remember is really malty and in my head it was a really dark beer because it was so malty and I'm really surprised at how how clear that is and how I mean it really is isn't it it's uh, yeah that is golden that is that's beautiful uh, let, let's let's dive in and get a little bit of a Oh, that's quite nice. That is. Now, years ago, I had it's just my taste buds have changed. I wasn't that keen on that. I, six, seven years ago, I had that. Yeah. Uh, probably wasn't that. Put, when did this come out? 2013, I think it was. Yeah, it wasn't that long after that. I, but I, I got it because it had Iron Maiden on it. <laughs> <laughs> um. And, and that's good enough reason to do a lot of things, you know, just to follow it. Okay. Yeah. Malty. That's malty. And, and sweetness. There's a sweetness at the end there, lovely. Um, but I, there's a little bit of the hops coming through at the end, I think. Just a little tingle. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm with you. Yeah. Damn, that, that's not too bad. That's very good. I'm I, I'm I'm pleasantly surprised actually. I was I, I am as well, considering because I like as I said, I've had it in the past and I wasn't that keen on it back then. I'm, I'm sure I must have had it beforehand, but I, I can't remember anything about it. So it, it was insignificant. Um, mm. Yeah, this is this is very nice. This is from Robinson's, of course. Let's not forget Robinson's, the brewer. Ah, oh, still a family business, you know. Yes, and you know everything about all the breweries in the world, don't you? I do. <laughs> <laughs> I've been doing extensive research over the last five minutes. Google's wonderful, isn't it? Mm. So what have you found out about Robinson's then? Robinson's, 
Um, they're Stockport based. Yep. And uh, they opened up their first pub, the Unicorn, in, oh, let me try and remember. <laughs> 1838 that's right yeah wow yeah and then they started brewing in 18 oh my glasses help me remember things 1849 <laughs> so yeah that's my memory powered glasses uh they're they're exceedingly um good uh yeah and they they're still from out of stockport as our american cousins would say Oh dear. Um, so I absolutely gobsmacked that that was the beer I had in the Lake District all that time ago. That that's it's so different. I'm I'm yeah, I'm very happy with this. It's a very, very but nice just how my, my taste buds have changed over the years. I've probably I mean, I don't know if there's any, I mean, I don't know if the recipe for the beer has changed at any point. That's a possibility, I suppose. No idea. No, me neither, but it's a possibility. But no, that's, um, yeah, surprisingly nice. I've just noticed the bottle top. Look. Oh, hello. Power Slave, 1984. I've got something completely different. Oh, what have you got? I've got Virtual Eleven. Oh, what's that? Which is an album from, I reckon, the mid-90s. Oh, how exciting. Do we have to collect the set? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's that's added a, another dimension. Right, so I'm done on that. That was um, Stonker. You finished? Yeah. Oh. You ran ahead. <laughs> How unusual. Usually I'm always finished first. <laughs> I know. I, well, I, I, I panicked. You were so far ahead. Well, that was nice all the way through. I like that. Yeah. That was... Do you know, that didn't change. No. This is, something we've, we've, this is something we've learned through the process that we're going through, which is <clears throat> we've, been, we've been trying these beers out in a controlled... And conditions. And we have found that some beers do um, degenerate through the drinking. Some get in Yeah. Um, Trooper there. Same all the way through. Started high, stayed high. I think the, the last the last math was as good as the first. Yes. Right. Next one. <laughs> now, I am very excited by this. I am. Again, that's a lot light knife. Oh, again, that's looking. Oh, that's looking lovely. That. That's a nice bit of head, as the actress said to the bishop. That's oh, that's quite, that's a lot more ready than the the last one. Is. Yeah. That's a lovely colour of red, actually. That's a lovely colour. And I'll tell you what, I've just smelled. Have a smell, see if you get what I got. No, my smell's shot away. I'm getting a bit of caramel on that. Oh, yeah. Now you say a bit of auto suggestion. I'm getting that now. Bad. Yeah. Well, I'm going to dig in. Best way. Yeah, come yeah, on. I 
that's very, very different. Isn't it? Oh, that was quite an experience. It went from, hmm, I'm not sure about this, to it just something it creeps up right at the end and goes, wow. <laughs> works hard on you, doesn't it? It's, yeah. A bit of depth. Just a bit. I have to say, I don't know. I've never had a Dartmoor brewery beer before. No, I, um, I have. I've, I've had this down in Devon. Have you? And again, I get that. It's a number of years ago. I didn't warm to that much. It was too malty for me because I liked in your face hops then. And, but I really have mellowed, obviously, over the years. Or I just don't care what beer I drink nowadays because I quite like this now. This is this is really quite nice. <clears throat> um, Again, I had this on draft or keg or whatever it was. They pulled something and it came out and I drank it. Yeah, it, it's like, yeah, it's slightly ironic that we're doing um, a, a channel based on beer when I have a real difficulty with saying the word brewery. Um, but <laughs> Dartmoor brewery. Oh, have you got um, some facts? I've got facts about them. Um, <laughs> and I have to say, um, they are quite a young brewery. See, a few beers in me, it becomes a little bit easier to say. Yeah, yeah, and without your glasses as well. Without my glasses. I can talk without my glasses, but I need to put my memory glasses back on. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, uh, they weren't established until 1994. Ooh. So a very, well, as far as we're concerned, a very new brewery. Brewery. Yeah. Bre bre brewery. And... Um, <laughs> It's frightening how it works. Um, it really is. Uh, uh, and their beers are very well thought of. This um, one, um, uh, this was a premium beer winner. I, out of the two so far, I couldn't call it. I, I, in fact, I'd say if I had to drink the same beer all night, I'd go for the Trooper rather than this one. I think. I'm only part of the way down this so far. Yeah, I'm I'm level pegging. Um, this has got a lot going on. Oh, <clears throat> this is more. I got so, I, I got a an orangey citrusy thing going just from that last glug. There it is. There's the power of suggestion. Do you know what I'm getting? I know where you're coming from now. Right at the end, I'm getting a burnt orange taste. Are you getting it at the end or not? Well, I wouldn't have been quite as specific as burnt orange. It was just orangey. But you're, you're a little bit more sensitive to these things than me, so yeah. Yeah, I'm a very sensitive boy. <clears throat> but in my defence, Your Honour, I got, I got the orangey thing before you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I know. Yeah, as with everything, you you bring, you know, your sledgehammer out there, the kind of like it is, and I go, yeah, but really, and you articulate it much better than I do. Let's hone down on what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> um. I, 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 honestly, this this is gorgeous. This has got so much going on. And as far as I'm concerned, this is one of those beers that the further we get down the glass, the better it gets. It's quite nice because although this is our first YouTube effort, yeah, we've been doing this for a long time on like lockdown drinking. Yeah, yeah. we've had some really rubbish beers. And we've had two in a row, which have been very good. We have, haven't we? Yeah. Um, yes. These, these, yeah. I'm, I'm intrigued about our next one. I have to say. Next. 
our next beer, I'm slightly worried about it. Oh, Thumper. Mm. Yeah, I'm not. Well, yes, because it's in context, because what, what we've discovered in the past, some beers what we thought were brilliant. When you drink it with other beers, you, it, it's some have been left wanting a little, haven't they? Yeah, haven't they? Yeah. Um, and Trooper was, like I say, simple but effective. Like a Scud missile. Whereas the Dartmoor Jail Ale is... Oh, that's got so much going on. It's got so much depth to it. And I'll finish that now. I can just imagine myself at the pump set the pub saying, yep, same again. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I honestly think that's an absolute gem. Yeah. I really do. I think I need a session on both to really make my decision, but I'm, I'd be happy drinking any of those. Either of those two, lovely. I'm, exci I'm excited to try more of those. You're not finished yet. I'll finish mine. Yeah, you did. Yeah. Oh, on that time. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, hello. Look at that. Ah, that itch. <laughs> Old Thumper. Let's put gear cam on. Go put gear cam on. I didn't put beer cam on. I forgot to press record. If that's what. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, that's a beautiful colour, too. But, tremendous colour. Oh. What do you think? To me, that tastes a bit soapy. Yeah. This is my fear, realised, really, I suppose. Well, well before, when we started this, uh, we've, we had those three beers there. I yeah. thought, I can't wait to get the old thumper, because I used to like that. And in context with the other two, it's... It's it's not good. It's not great, is it? Um, as a a point of fact to anybody who's interested, yeah. Uh, Ringwood Brewery is a, a brewery, sorry, a brewery that is local to us, or was local to us when you were here. Um, Carlsberg, now, isn't it? They do, yeah. Oh, no. Marston's bought it first. Yeah, and Marston's is now in Carlsberg. partnership with Carlsberg, I think, isn't it, or something? I don't no, know. they bought them out. Did they? Okay, fair yeah. enough. All right. Um, but we both, as I, probably, I must have been mid to late 80s, were drinking Old Thumper. Which was fantastic. It was fantastic, because it, it, it's... Old Thumper started around 6%. And slowly over the years, it's it's come down to five point one, and uh, every step down. Thumper makes sense when it's a six percent drink because back then six percent was stupidly high. It was, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, um, old Thumper now is just very average. It's yeah. The problem well, is ABV scale. That is, it's very average. Yeah. And 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 now, old thumper's just a little bit. Hmm. So anyway, shall we wrap up? <clears throat> I think we should. Yeah. Well, conclusions. Trump uh, trooper and JL is a go, and old thumper. Don't bother. No, I mean, well, 
again, old thumper. It's all right. It's nothing. It's all right. It's it's. No, no, but for, for, but these are all the for, same. For price the They're all the same price in the shop. Yeah, and you wouldn't. Yeah. Um, what I'm saying is that that's not bad. It's just not good. Whereas the first two we've had. And as you say, you'll get them for the same price. The trooper and the jail are head and shoulders above the old well, Next time I'm down in Wimborne, mm -hmm. when the pubs are open again. Yeah. Well, probably not next time, because we're or the time after that, because we're doing another session in the butcher's dog. I'm going through the, the menu there. Yeah, that's really <laughs> another story. But We've got to do Old Thumper in on the handpool just to see. Just I want to compare. I just don't it. Know, I don't, where would you get that? That would be the White Heart. Of course, yes. Mm. Right. Okay. Well, let's wrap up. Yep. It's been an interesting, an interesting journey today. Um, I think we know the results. I'm going to, I'm going to say sayonara with this one. And uh, we'll see you next episode next week. Indeed. Until then, bye. Like and subscribe. Bye. <laughs> that is a beautiful colour. Right. Yeah. All right. How many beers? This is number three. And how are you doing with your recording? Oh, I've just mucked up a bit of my beer can recording. <laughs> it I'm hasn't stated. Once we got through the whole point, uh, the whole introduction thing, we've been doing quite well, I think. Yeah, because that's we've been drinking beer. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I think it might be an idea to perhaps. The problem is, this, this has been really good. I think the drinking part has been really quite good. Yeah. I think the intro was shit.